Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. have a very special guest. Please welcome for the first time ever on the Stevie Weeby Show, comedian Andrew Santino. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm a little nervous. Really, I'm a little nervous, why? man. That was, like, really, yeah, yeah. that was really pretty on the piano, by the really? way. Really? And, and can I say but, something else? But my, brother, my brother's pretty good, too. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And I, I also really love that Beats, Rhymes, and Life poster. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a Linden big fan. Linden Boulevard yeah, represent, yeah. represent. Are you from, you're from the East? I'm, no, well, I'm from Chicago. Okay, but they have some history there with uh, well, Common. I mean, common, common, is, yeah, common, common is huge. Yeah. Twista is from yeah, Chicago. Yes, sir. We have a lot of good rap, rappers from Chicago, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, no one competes with New York. New York is yeah, kind of yeah, the king yeah. of hip-hop. You, you know? like the shirt? I mean, this is I do love that shirt. I think it's a Wu Tang thing in Japanese. That's not Japanese. Oh, it isn't. Nope. What is that? I don't know, but it's not Japanese. Okay, it might be Chinese. Correct, might be, you no, know? it's not Chinese either. Well, it's not Korean, is it's it? It's not Korean. I like how you ask me if it's Korean. <laughs> <laughs> like I would know. I have no idea. You're Korean. Yeah, how would I yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. No, um, I, but I love that because I love. I that's Beats, Rhymes, and Life. One of my yeah. one of my favorite. Did albums. you see the uh, documentary that Michael Rappaport made I about did. Them? I, I did. What are your thoughts on that? I liked it, but I'm. It's also like. Uh, uh, um, if we want to get into the throes of the depths of Tribe Called Quest, yeah, I feel yeah. like I feel like the tumultuous nature of their relationship was a bummer as a fan. Yeah. Um, and I kind of I wish in my childhood I never knew. Yeah. How bad it got. Yeah, because you saw them fighting amongst each other. It sucked. Yeah, it yeah. sucked because I was such a huge fan when I was a kid that like. Yeah. You know, ignorance is bliss. I never wanted to know that stuff. Yeah, me too. I mean, rest in peace, Fife. Um, yeah, man. That's he, why it was uh, also he had, hard. Um, diabetes, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think he, yeah, yeah, diabetes and, much, yeah. and other stuff. Yeah. I don't know how healthy he was. Is the same thing that's like, uh, what did Guru die of? You know, that's a good question. He had some kind of, uh, yeah, he, was it remember. diabetes? We looked that up. Uh, we cro- You're going to just say diabetes for every black <laughs> rapper that <laughs> no, died? No, no, I think he, he Did had, he have diabetes? You know, no, no, he Biggie had, Smalls had diabetes I think as he well. Had cancer, didn't yeah, he? Had cancer. cancer. He had cancer. Yeah. And then do you remember Solar, his partner, was didn't let uh, Guru's family members to, into the hospital? I know. I thought that was very strange. Well, very what do strange. I know? I don't know yeah. about their, their personal no, relations. No, no, but you do. But, I'm a, do. but, I, but I, I love that you have a love for old school hip hop. I think it's dead. I think every, I, I mean, the you love is, I think a lot of people don't love it anymore. Yeah. What are, you, what are your thoughts on like today's uh, state of uh, rap and hip hop and, and whatnot? Uh, I Trippy get, Red and stuff like that. Oh, I don't, li- I don't, look, I that's not for me. Takashi I just say that. And, it's not for me. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I like that people like like it good yeah. for you mm-hmm. it's not for me i don't know i mine's generational right like i grew up with that with de la soul oh yeah you know like some of my favorites like uh would of all time would probably be like gangstar yes uh yes. tribe for sure absolutely absolutely uh and then people like um big l big l absolutely big uh, pun big love yeah, big, big pun, pun. Anybody big? I liked yeah. anybody big. Lil was oh not- Mob Deep, Mob Deep, yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, Mob um, Deep was dope. I liked um, Wu Tang is a little too obvious. Yeah, Who yeah. Else? Um, Sean Price, I love Sean oh, Price. Oh, okay, that was that was coming from left field. I didn't expect that. You, do you yeah, know? Do you know Sean Price? Sean Price was great. He was doing with um, like the boot camp click. The boot camp uh, click, uh, Black dude. Black Moon, yes. Helter Skelter, yes. Uh, OG uh, original Gun Clapper, yes, dude. I have a story about Bob and De La Soul. So I was in eighth grade. Let's hear it. And I had a De La Soul shirt, and I had. I had the CD, and he w- we got in a fight because he's like, dude, that's not real music. Which one? Three Feet High and Rising? Yeah. Yeah. Because I went to the concert, and he, he didn't get into... Uh, he liked the Beastie Boys, but mm. but as far as this stuff, uh. he he you know because he was into Fugazi, yeah, and yeah, Black yeah. Flag, yeah, Echo yeah, and the yeah. Bunnymen, the Cure. Also good though. 
Just uh, diff, I love just, it all. I yeah, love it all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually learned a lot about music just from my brother. Yeah. 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 Are you close with it? Like, how close yeah, are you yeah. with my brother? I'm uh, as close as you can get to Bobby without. He kissed your nutsack. He cussed to kiss my nutsack. Yeah. <laughs> He, <laughs> so do you, he, it's as close that, as we can get without killing each other because we have such like uh, that's why we did the show together that yeah. we have these personalities that just they complement each other but we also want to kill each other all the time yeah you know how your fucking brother is have you been naked around him at all uh yes yes but so we you, have not for been, long periods no, of no, time the korean spot on near olympic yeah have this you, whole thing he won't give up on by the way <laughs> he wants everyone to go to the Korean spot yeah, with yeah. him. Have you it's gone? Have you no. Gone there? no, no, and I will. He keeps bringing your name up. I know he wants he's like, me to go. I'm gonna bring Santino here, dude. I'll go. <laughs> I just think it's like I'll show him. My, he's seen my dick. Yeah, I think he just wants have me to you, go to see have my. Have you seen his penis? No, maybe th- eight or nine thousand times. Yeah, I've seen his dick more than. Yeah, it's dark. I've seen his. I've seen your brother's penis more than I've seen. Uh, Anyone's maybe penis. my own penis. I don't think I've ever looked at my penis that many times. He sh- dude, he did it at the comedy store. A Wait, week, a week stage, before we left. Stage? No, well, you that is usual. Yeah. This was in the parking lot. I was like, dude, you got to be careful in the parking lot. A parking no, lot, the you, parking lot and is. Then people that's, could film it. Yeah, and, that's what I told him. You know, I said, dude, you got to be careful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh wait, let's get back. Bob okay, made okay. funny for the three feet high and rising. Yeah, he I did. I want to know the story. And then I, I just said, and then I was like uh, fighting him. I'm like, no, this is this is music. He's like, dude, they're sample. You know, it was like it went into the oh, sampling and how that they're right. just sampling other groups. I hate when people then, use yeah, that. That's not that's not valid. And By then, the way, every music rips from other music. Yeah, he just he got it later. Yeah, yeah, he got it later. But you know, his music pa- palette is so vast. Like yeah. he knows groups from San Diego. No one knows. He's like, yeah, I yeah. saw him in 1997, bro. He does Swivel have- knife. I saw him at the Cas. You know, he'll tell you the whole story. He does you know? have good. He does have a good range of music. But I don't. Yeah. He doesn't love old school hip hop. No, no, no. Okay, these are the groups he'll he'll drop these. Beastie Boys, mm. Cypress Hill. Okay. And then now he likes De La Soul. Yeah. Because he had it I, in his iPod. I might be the only guy. And I know I'm not from that mm-hmm. gen, that era as much, but I don't. I never loved Beastie Boys, dude. And I couldn't admit what? it. Yeah, all my friends loved wow. them. Wow. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> you didn't like the Beastie Boys. Did not, dude. Oh, rest in peace, MCA, huh? Yeah, I just, I don't know. You know what that it was, was for me? That was a real one right there. I just didn't. It's uh, it's racism. I didn't yeah. like that they were white. It's, what about Everla- House of Pain, Everlast? Again, what are we doing here? <laughs> Why? I'm sorry. I don't Dude, like... Dude, jump around. With, I mean, that was a hit, No disrespect man. to Everlast. Everlast is a great MC. He's, he, a, great, he's, he's actually, a great musician. Actually, I like him now more than he's I ever great, liked him dude. then. He's great. He is. I'm Come just on, saying, dude. I like black... Ra- I like my rappers black. <laughs> is that okay? Fair enough. I like Fair my enough. rappers black. You have some funny bits about, like... Don't you have like bits about rap groups? Yes, about? I do. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I on my on my Showtime special, I, I did like a five a minute. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah it's it's okay. called Home Field Advantage. It's still it's up on Amazon now. I okay. think they just type your name and type in Andrew Santino and, it's, and and I put up clips online all the time on Instagram and stuff. You can find it. But I did a bit like five minutes long. Yeah, kind of shitting on Macklemore because I, yeah. I, I I just you know I'm not a didn't fan. Didn't really get into Malcolm Moore so I don't much. hate him. Yeah. I just wanted to shit on him for a bit. Like, I was just for a uh, fun bit. He's easy to make fun of. Okay? Yeah. Who's the guy that dissed Eminem? Uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, 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 Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, Machine Gun Kelly. Not, not into that. Well, I, don't, so I didn't even really know him yeah. until that diss. And then I was like, wow, yeah. this, this made yeah. this guy famous. Yeah. Like, he, I know he had a fanship before. But like that was so big for him. He should have wrote it such a thank you letter to Eminem for even engaging. Yeah. Speaking of Eminem, I mean your buddy Dalia there uh, on the it's on like the fucking, his best friend. The freaking music video. It's, un- it's like unbelievable what that is Eminem. Going on? And then they what? hung out together yeah, when yeah, they yeah, were. Yeah. What's going on? I mean, what what happened? Dalia's like, too famous. And he's, he's, will, he's is he too, more famous than you and Bob and Griffin? By far. By, by, like, no, it's you not, guys are up there. No, 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 no. So okay, so dude, Dalia is so famous that is he higher up on the mountain than you. Way higher. Not. Way I'm not even high, on the mountain. I'm high. still putting on my shoes. No, you're. you're yes, you're, I am. You're I'm tying my boots. You're on the top. L- let me say this. This is how famous. This is how famous Dalia is. Chris is so famous, and Chris Rock said this one time. Yeah. You're. Fa- you know, you're famous in comedy when people who don't even like comedy know who you are. Like Eminem. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Eminem's not even like a comedy yeah, fan. Yeah. He just. Love Dalia. Yeah, he gets the chicks though, doesn't he? Chris. Yeah. Chris gets everything: money, girls, <laughs> yeah. cars, f- uh, success. It's everything. obnoxious. I mean, he, he's he probably has wads of cash. I mean, just, just I, t- let's talk. One he's time I saw money, one right? time I saw him yeah. at Hollywood and Highland, burning cash in front of all the homeless people, just burning oh, piles that's of cash. Just not right. That's what well, he does. I mean, that's how disrespectful so he is. So he'll burn a hundred dollar bill. He'll, yeah, he has thousand dollar bills. 
He, I've never even seen a thousand. You would never. Bill. You you don't have access. Yeah. He's 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 the kind of guy. He gets them from the bank, burns yeah. them in front of homeless so people. So how is he making his revenue? Can you just please describe? I don't that? know who pays it. I mean, people go to see his shows. I guess. Is he doing coliseums? Like how does it? Doesn't it? Don't you start at clubs? He, open mics. Everybody clubs. starts at clubs. Yeah, Dalia's at Dalia's now at. Huge theaters. Delia will be in arena soon. You're close too, aren't you? Though I'm no, no, dude. I'm Come still on, you're no, close. no. I'm at I'm at little baby theaters. I play a lot of rock clubs, which yeah, I like. Yeah, I love yeah. rock clubs, but I do baby theaters. I do like um anywhere from like six hundred to eight hundred seaters. Sometimes a thousand, but no, yeah, no, that's anything over that is crazy for me. How how are we gonna get my brother to do a special? Will you will you can light I don't think anybody wants that? to see his comedy that bad. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna do one. I think he needs. How are we to... gonna do? How are we gonna? Cause uh, come on, man. It, well, here's the here's he's the thing. No spring chicken There's anymore. something let's, cool let's about him on. not doing a special. Why? Cause Joe got on him. Everyone's getting. I on know, him, right? but now the pressure is so big. It's almost like you know when a, you know. Here's the worry. Go ahead. You put out the special, and and he doesn't love it. And then it disappoints him even more that he did it, and it turn it makes him spiral. You know your brother like gets in these like mental spaces where he like starts to lose it. Is it the bits he doesn't want to write new bits? Or no, no, he... he's been writing a lot of new stuff. I think he just doesn't feel like, dude. Here's this is an interesting perspective. Yeah, go not ahead. that this means much, but Jay Leno got interviewed by I don't remember who, and I'm not a huge fan of his stand up. Who but Jay? Yeah, yeah. But he said something cool. He was like. Um, I don't want to do a special because I don't need material to live forever on a thing. Yeah. I love live comedy. Come see me live. And you know what? That's my I brother. get that. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, that's yeah, your that's brother. brother. That's, that's what I mean. Brother. And yeah. your brother and Jay Leno couldn't be a- further apart on the scale of comedy. In I terms was of there like, the, the time he did Jay Leno. I was so freaking... When he was doing his... Uh, when he was on the Jay Leno show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. And yeah. they're two completely different kinds of comedy, right? So like all Jay Leno was saying, what I agree with is... Some people, some performers just need the live aspect to be the thing that keeps them moving. I yeah. think that's what it is for your brother. Yeah, yeah. How, like, let's go to the, let's go back. Let's go back in time. How did you like? How did y'all meet? Because you guys have a podcast. Yeah, now we have together. a podcast called Bad Friends. Yeah, so check Please that out. Check it's it bad out. Bad Friends. Uh, what, you're on we episode met, two or three. Uh, that we just did our first episode. Depending on when this comes out. Okay. We, yeah. Every Monday is our. Monday the seventeenth was our first episode. Mm-hmm. And I have what to I have to bring this up because Eric Griffin is. I know. Uh, a, a homie. I know he's a friend of the family. Um, That's what we say. He's a friend of the family. He wanted to be there too. Yeah, he did. So how did, how are, how is he doing? I mean. Bobby's racist and Bobby doesn't <laughs> want, you know, Bobby liked white rappers. Bobby doesn't like black people at all. So he kicked out, Jeez. he kicked out Eric. No, that whole thing was a, they were going to do a show together and then, and then Eric was going to do a show with Kalila. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. Okay. And then. That Cause she's coming come, next week. Ask her about I'm going to ask her, yeah. And then and then Bobby kind of was like, all right, we're going to do this thing together. And then Eric gave the blessing, I guess. Begrudgingly. I think he's mad about it still. Yeah. So how but long he, but, were you guys talking about it? Beyond, like, oh, my God. Was it just years of talking about it? This was forever. But it wasn't. Here's the other side of it. I didn't. This was. Fans suggested it. You guys didn't come up with it? No, not oh, even a little oh. bit. No, no, no. Right. People on the internet were like, you should do a sh- You guys did do a show. It'll be funny. Do a show. And then every mm-hmm. time I would do belly. People would say we should do a show, and uh, dude, and then we kind of started to make it happen. It was it was organic, dude. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah, no yeah, piece. Yeah. By the way, I do my own show. I know. Let's. Uh, what's the name of it? Whiskey let's, Ginger. So so check out Whiskey Ginger yeah, check on that YouTube. Out. I do um, my own show, so I didn't really. It wasn't like I was pining to do the show with Bobby, but like, it just sounded fun, dude. Mm-hmm. And not, and you know, people are like, oh, just copying. King and the Sting did this, and then Tom and Bert did. It's like. Dude, it was just a fun thing that fans were like, do a show, so we did a yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I like how people think we think that far. I, I, it just sounded fun. Okay. So we just are doing a fun show, and if it goes for a while, it goes, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't, I don't understand. People think that these things are more like, in-depth than they are. We're just having a good time. Right, right. So yeah, there's not much thought behind it. No, I mean, yeah, in just... terms of like, of terms of like putting work into it yeah you have to organize and you know you have to yeah, edit you have yeah, to yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that goes behind oh, it but absolutely, in yeah. the front load Thumbnails, you're like i just want to have fun and make and do it yeah um how'd you come up with the name uh bad friends yeah your like, brother did that actually well here's what's oh, funny whoa, my brother people did that? wanted to call people wanted to call it red and yellow mm-hmm. and then sorry no, people good. wanted to call it red and yellow and <gasps> then um uh bobby hated that name mm-hmm. and he was like no 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 and he fought it 
Yeah. And I was like, okay, I don't really care at all. Then you name it. So I sent him a track that's our opening track of the show. Mm -hmm. And in it, the dialogue of the clip, the woman goes, you two are bad friends. And he calls me, he goes, I like bad friends. Oh, and I was like, right. oh, I didn't even think about it. It was just one of the clips in the initial audio that this guy, Rokom, made for me, this yeah. this beat maker, who's a great yeah, yeah. hip-hop beat maker. I'm sure he is. And he, Who and did he the just animation? Threw it in there. I like the beginning looks cool, too. He had the yeah. characters. Uh, like the there's this looking. artist named Jeffrey Miles, who's, Sh who's Shout dope. Shout out to Jeffrey Miles. Shout out yeah. to Jeffrey did, Miles. Now, did he reach out to you guys like, hey, I want to do animation? We had He had done other stuff. Look at this. This is he had done other stuff. Oh, that's like Super Mario Bros. That's me as yeah, uh Mario. he did one as Gri he did Griffin too. He did um Okay. He's done a bunch of guys. I don't can you see that? But yeah, that's yeah, me yeah, as yeah. Luigi. Yeah, Luigi, yeah. But he did Griffin too. He did a bunch of guys and then we started talking to him and then two people I work with, Jenna Sunday and Joseph Faria, they they're they're graphic designers, they're animators, they're VFX people, they're they're incredible. They do yeah, yeah. a lot of other stuff and they started working with me on my show <laughs> and then they do they helped animate uh, Jeffrey's uh, draw, uh, Jeffrey's Jeffrey's yeah, it was work. Really impressed. I like the I like the intro. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. fun, man. It was super cool. I yeah. that's the cool thing about working with artists in podcasts is you just let them do whatever they want. So I literally don't tell so them anything. Free range, like just do whatever. Yeah, I don't care. Why Why would I? Oh. Why would I tell them to? I don't know what's. I can't draw. A stick figure. I couldn't put together cool art if I tried. Right, so, right, right. So they just they just did yeah, it. Yeah, I, I I trust them totally, and then I let them do it, and then they just go, "Is this cool?" And I'm always like, "Yeah, it's cool." Yeah, yeah. Let's go back even further. Like, how did you meet my brother? Comedy store. I met him when I was doing development spots. What year? Oh, just maybe over just about 10, 10 plus years ago. Oh. Maybe I want to say I met I met Bobby in yeah. Uh -oh. I think. 2009 i moved mm -hmm. here in 06 and it was a couple years later i met bobby yeah and i was doing development spots at the comedy well, store describe what, what is a development development spot? spots is when you are um you're you're trying to be passed as a, as a as a regular which means you get your name on the wall and then you get to call in to say hey i want spots that's when tommy was there tommy was there okay. back then well that was at the end when i first came it was the end of mitzi's kind of reign mm -hmm. and she was never around anymore yeah, she started to leave. Mitzi Shore, who used to who used to own the comedy store, yeah. and then Tommy was the old manager, right? And then he ended up passing me, and then ended up not working there anymore. But mm -hmm. that's when Bob and I met. He actually was he nice to you? At, like, he was you, so nice. You guys well, he, got along or like right off. We got the along, but we weren't like we didn't become friends fast. Oh, okay, okay. It took a, it took a minute because, but he him and Dalia he went to, I he tells the story, but he had called Dalia to come watch me in the OR. And he was like, you got to see this guy. And Chris and I had maybe just started to meet as well. Are you guys close? Chris and I are yeah, close. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And we started to just kind of meet a little bit. Yeah. And then um, Bobby was like super promotional of me and was would tell Tommy and stuff. And other people there would be like, you, you got to watch him. him. You got to see him. You yeah, got to watch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he was influential in me getting into the club. Truly, it's, it's what I've owed him kind of our whole like friendship. And then only in the last couple of years have we become much closer because... You know, time changes and life changes. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's funny. And then, and then how did, when did you get your start in comedy? Did you, like, was it in high school, in Chicago? I, in, in, I mean, I was always kind of like, always wanted to, like, fuck around and be a goof. But mm -hmm. in college, I really started to consider it for real. Like, I was like, oh, maybe I could make money off of it mm -hmm. and make it a real career where I wouldn't have to, like, you know, my worry was always like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make money doing anything else. I was so scared. Yeah. Were you doing, what, what college were you I went to Arizona State. Yeah, what, you, you did. I was a Sun Devil, baby. I was too. Really? What year did you graduate? You're a Sun Devil. I'm a Sun Devil, baby. Me, you, and Brody. You went to ASU. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Did you finish? It took me like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nine. Yeah. <laughs> really? I lived. I lived in every dorm there. Well, okay. Which word? Manzanita. Oh, you want to break it down? Yeah, go. Manzanita. PV Ocotillo. Ocotillo. I know about PV East. I lost my virginity in PV East. No way. Yeah. What about yeah. PV West? No, it was the one. Well, they're like one was here, one was there, right? Yeah. Then you had that little, then the bridge. I right? was PV Main. Okay, I know PV. PV Main. PV, well, that's where the sororities and. No, no, no. PV East and West, and PV, PV Main East. was the building in the middle of them, but now it's gone. Now it's a. But there used to be a Taco Bell in there, and like a little convenience store. Yeah, Do you yeah, remember exactly. That? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you could use your little student. You could card. Student, yeah. You use your son, your son devil yeah, card. Yeah, son devil card. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I was Manzanita, didn't get along with my roommate. Transferred over to Apache Boulevard side. Nice. Acatillo. Do you remember Acatillo? Yes. You remember Acatillo? Yeah, man. 
You remember Ocotillo? Yes, dude, so I Ocotillo do. So Ocotillo was on the other side of campus. Right. It was like this old motel. They, I don't know. It, it was, was a motel. It was, it, was sketchy. it was a motel that they turned into a dorm. Yeah. Yeah. And the rooms were the size of like a jail cell. It was gross. Yeah. Yeah, it was I very gross. It. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it was my own cell. And then how many other places did you live? And then I went to Saguaro. Do you remember your Saguaro's? Like if you go further back. Yeah, there. man. You and lived then, like basically off campus at some point. That was like eight years down the line. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah at that some was, point. No, no, no. I mean like those dorms are the far yeah, ones. And then Choya for a minute. Yeah. You're all the way in the Choya. other side. Choya. Oh, um, Sonora for like I had friends at Sonora. Right. We used to skateboard. You know the tennis courts? Oh, yeah. You remember the Whataburger? Yes. So the Whataburger, we'd uh, go duck uh, underneath that fence and we'd go to Whataburger. Then we'd skateboard the uh, tennis courts there. I used yeah. to skate through campus at night. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they did not like me there. They... They didn't like oh, you. Oh, no, no, no. The they, cops? I've, dude, I've gotten so many. Dude, they've taken my board. They, really? They handco- yeah, they did everything. Well, mine was more of a... Lo- I was I was a loser. I skateboarded alone at night. Yeah. I would I would literally leave my... So I lived in PV, Maine. Then I lived... Um, then I lived in a house off of... Uh, like rural and southern, like in that neighborhood. Okay. Uh, you know, you remember Native New Yorker? Remember that restaurant? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, of course. Dude, what? I used to work there. <laughs> I, that's okay. I worked there. You remember Mill Avenue? Of course. I worked at that PF Chang's. Oh, you did, didn't you? Bar- yeah, I did. At the PF Chang's. Yes, sir. like at the a- at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Fired from that. Uh, yeah. There used to play- be a place called Saki's Japanese Restaurant. Where is that? Right by the movie theater. Remember the movie theater? Yeah, there? right there yeah. in that yeah, roundabout be- where the roundabout exactly. is. Yeah, the roundabout parking lot structure. I got food poisoning from that yeah. movie theater. <laughs> I swear right, to God, right. dude. I the first time yeah, I've ever I had that food. My mind. You it was disgusting. ASU. Yeah, You're blowing my freaking yeah, mind. Dude. I had no idea. ASU for four years. Now, how did you? I felt like when you first arrived, it was in August, right? Yeah, I, just just the hot. It was so. hot. I was so happy. I because I'm <laughs> dude. Like, I'm from I'm from Chicago. Oh, so you you're from Southern it. California, different, oh, dude. Right, right, I'm from right. I'm from the snow. Yeah, Get, I didn't give a shit if it got up to 130. I was as, so excited to not have snow because yeah. because in chicago when when summer's over rain and wind are coming mm-hmm. and not in arizona it was like it didn't it, wind doesn't even exist it, there's right, no wind right, doesn't right, even right. happen in arizona did you did you party attend the parties and i was a blackout in college oh. i partied a little i partied <laughs> right, way right. too hard i got i went so, to that school because i took mushrooms and decided with a friend that i was going to go to that school that's how i ended up I there i mean i'm sure i mean the ladies there too at the time I mean, well, there were girls there I mean, some of the yeah. yeah. I had sex in Manzanita. I had Go sex ahead, in PV Maine. What what floor? Uh, Manzanita was like I I'm not good with memory like that, but I know it was like halfway up the building. I'm, so was, let's just say ten. Okay, I was on thirteen. Really? Yeah. I had sex on your floor. You on thirteen? I had sex with you. You'd have been weird if it was the room. We had I- sex. <laughs> I had sex in Manzanita. Yeah. I had sex in PV Maine. Mm-hmm. I had sex in the athletes dorm. I don't even remember the name Whoa, of that. You, the athletes oh dorm was. God. You know which one that was by the pool. You know by the pool by the. Um, yeah, that was. I was there before you then. What, what year were you there? Ninety five, ninety four, ninety five. Yeah, I was there in two thousand sixteen to two thousand and no. <laughs> no, I I graduated in, oh six. Yeah, I was. Yeah, you're older that, than me, dude. Yeah, I'm older than you, and I was there like I was there, and I for like eight or nine years, and I and, had you, a, and we still didn't overlap. Yeah, and then I still <laughs> I had to go to student services, and then I went. You know where the you by the MU? Yeah, the Memorial Union. Yeah, they had a bowling alley at the bottom. Not anymore. Okay, but they used to. Dude, it broke my heart because I, I, I went, I went back good... there, and the bowling alley's gone. Yeah, the cool yeah, restaurants yeah, are gone. Yeah. Everything's gone. Um, that fountain outside of it's gone. That was a great dude. I used to spend. I used eat to sk- my lunches there. I know, dude. Do you remember that fucking Hayden Library? Hundred percent. You'd walk down the downstairs stairs and, and, and the lawn it above like, it. The, it was like, um, you know, underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still underground. Yeah, okay, okay. It's, that's still there. But and then the big chunk of the library is above ground on the right there. Yeah, yeah. So what would you go to school for? I don't even. Just nine all, years. It's all blur. Like, what I, if your degree said just nine years on it? <laughs> it probably should. I mean, <laughs> it, it was interdisciplinary studies. Uh, what is that? I don't know what I that is. Know. I don't either. Does I have that a, does that mean the, you have the degree somewhere? I don't know somewhere. Does, inter- does that mean like you're gonna get an education? I don't know, man. It's something they created for people like me. Like, yeah, yeah. They don't know what they're doing. But you actually finished. Yeah, but I've actually was on. Dr- I was really drugged out. Like yeah. I was do. I actually saw dead people, ghosts. In uh, when I lived in Ocotillo, I was tripping on LSD. You do you remember Barros Pizza? Sabaros. 
Barrow's Pizza. Where's Barrow's? There, there are pizza places in Arizona. There's one on Baseline. There's there used to be one near a lemon, ter- like near Choya. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, I got Maybe. acid there, and then I had a very bad acid trip. I saw dead people in the in, in my dorm room and everything there. Did that fuck you up for a while? Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. It did. For yeah. a long time. For a long time. Did yeah. you have to move out of the room? Oh. Yeah, well, me and the guy uh, that I did it with, he got arrested that day. For what? Well, he ran. Uh, it was a, you know, winter break. The, the you know, everyone goes back home, mm-hmm. but they the certain dorms are left open. Yeah. So I just stayed and worked, but you know, like those buses that kind of like frequent the camp, uh, the camp. Those were still running. I don't think they are anymore, but yeah. Yeah, they used to be running, and uh, uh, he had a bad. He, uh, I had a bad. I told him I was saw demons in the bathroom or dead people. And then he ended up running uh, uh, on near the student SRC, yeah, student rec center, yeah. Um, oh, well, he before that he grabbed on a girl's arm on a bus, and then they called that in. And yeah. you remember the uh, Tempe? Uh, for those of you who don't know, Tempe they have uh, campus police. Yes, pepper sprayed him. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Peppers, and then put him on the 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 stretcher board. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long was that bad trip? How long did it Ooh. last? Seemed like forever. I mean, I still can't listen to Portis had that singer because uh, we had that because <laughs> we had because that fucked you up. She's that like much? a witch. Yeah, yeah. It was like it was like, like listening to a witch or something. Do it like a like a seance or something. And I saw. Uh, I only did acid once. Yeah, yeah. But I did there. mushrooms a thousand times. I think yeah. the reason that I was so cool with mushrooms is no one I knew had that bad of a trip on yeah. mushrooms. Acid really does have a lot of like horror stories. Can we talk about the, the where I did it though? Because you you knew that yeah, it but used to be a motel, right? Well, it's explain. Gr- well, that area is gross, and there probably are dead people in it. See, yeah, no, no, you probably saw something real. I yeah. think I think you what you saw was real. It was real. Yeah, it was real. Yeah, but but also you should have known better than to trip in a little tiny jail cell. You have to trip in a no, place. No, no, that was I moved out of the jail cell so I could room with this guy. So we had a little bit of a bigger room. So just in a bigger cell. Yeah. Yeah. If you're gonna trip, you gotta be somewhere comfortable. Like go to someone's. Like everyone in, in in Arizona, everyone. So my second year, I moved into a house with four other guys, with one bathroom. Four, where, 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 where? What's the location? Uh, we were, we were. Uh, 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 well, it was Elm Street, and it was uh, off of. Uh, s- uh, southern. Southern. Southern and rural, rural and southern. No, keep going. Southern McClintock. Was Mc- Mc- McClintock. Maybe Southern McClintock. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was McClintock, it. McClintock, McClintock. Yeah. But it was a house off of Elm Street, which yeah, I which yeah, I loved because yeah. of Freddy Krueger. I'm right, gonna look right, it up right, right now. Right, right. But I lived with three other guys, and oh, see, that's the way to go. Every, man. but everyone had a house to live in. Yeah. Because because it was cheap to, for five guys to or four guys to live in one house at, with one bathroom. I think we all paid like. I don't know, three hundred dollars a month yeah, or it was something. Hella cheap, dude. Wasn't it was it? the best. It was yeah. the be- it was the best. I I think. I loved Arizona so much, and our neighbor used to get so mad because we would rage all the time, and the cops would come, and they and they were just like, "You're good. What yeah. are you gonna do?" Did like, you do stand up in Arizona? No, not really. I mean, I tried to do a few they had like the improv there. They did the Tempe I, Improv. I worked there, you know. You did? Yes. I I, I used to uh, have um, relations with a woman that uh, used to work there. What was her I, name? I had sex with. Is she blonde? I'm not going to say her okay. name into the camera. Okay. But she, but we had we had done stuff physically, sexually together. I'm yeah. looking at my house right now. Um, and she, who was the manager? Do you remember at the time? Was his name Neil? Well, uh, of the Tempe Improv. Yeah. His name was Neil. The guy. Yeah. That's the guy that fired me. Did he? <laughs> yeah. What did you do? Okay, I'll be honest with you. So I was a food runner, right? So I remember it was the, I like one, of the, one of the Wayans. One of the Wayans was performing that weekend. Which one of the Wayans? Uh, Sean. I think it was Sean. Wonderful. Cause I remember I tried talking to him and he like shunned me, like I was I was fanning out. Hard. He didn't want he didn't want to hear you. Fanning out hard on him, like I was okay. like I was like trying to talk about being, living color. Like was, you were being nice to him. I was being really creepy, like just fanning out. What do you hard. mean? So what? You were being I nice. Just, I was fan. I was a fanboy. Okay, here you go. Wait, yeah. time out. Dorsey, Dorsey, and okay, I remember. I know where they're Dorsey yeah, yeah, and okay. Broadway, gotcha, Elm gotcha, Street, gotcha. right there. Look at it, right by this park. That yeah, was. Gotcha. Let me just do this for fun. The yeah, podcast yeah, people yeah. can't see it, but this is more nostalgic for yeah, us yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, this yeah, is my house. Look, that's my house right there. Gotcha. You had Be- the pool. We had a pool in oh, the back. That's, that's even a bonus. But the pool. But every house had a pool down yeah. there. Four guys, one bathroom. Oh yeah. All right. Like, like, before I forget. Sorry. So I was a food runner, and yeah. so our job in between the shows, we had to carry um, plates of uh, food to the guests. You know, they had certain sections. Out yeah, there. that's what a food runner. Yeah, is. food runners. Yeah. Uh, you know, super nachos, mozzarella sticks, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 
And so one of the tables, it was like a bitch to get to. It was like towards the front of the stage. Yeah. And um, the, when I brought it, they're like, oh, we didn't want green onions or, you know, one of the, they said like, this Just is wrong. pick it off. And so, uh, I know. And so uh, I forgot, it was, I forgot her name. It was a blonde waitress. And I, uh, I just went up to her w- when I had time. And I just said, hey, uh, can you make sure you can modify that on the computer so yeah. we don't make that mistake? Yeah. Which is reasonable, wouldn't you say? Sounds pretty reasonable, but yeah. She, 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 she was like, oh, is that so? You know? She yeah, that gave, is yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but she gave me attitude. Hmm. So that night, Neil or whatever his name is, the guy at the yeah. glass, the, the, whatever, the manager guy's like, clean out your lot. You're, you're fired. Just because you said that to that girl? Yeah. Oh, well, they were fucked. They're hooking up. Yeah, they're all fucking. They're all fucking. That's the problem. Yeah. And then you get thrown under the bus. Yeah. She goes, you know, I don't like that Stevie guy. (laughs) Oh, yeah. And he goes, I don't like him anymore either. Gone. Yeah. Because that guy still wants to get his penis wet. Oh, yeah. He's not going to let you stand in the way again. He was a little old. You know, she was probably in college. She was probably 16. Yeah. He was a perv. Yeah. Um, so you know, you you know behind that, behind the Tempe Improv, there used to be a field, right? Yeah. Ac- uh, across from where the frats were. Yep. And, yep, yep, and I that remember. field. Sigma Nu, Sigma, yeah, yeah. All, well, yeah. all those are leveled to the ground. Okay. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. That, that fraternity, they're if, gone. If I were to go right now, yeah. I would not recognize anything. I promise like, you wouldn't. That, I'd be like, that no. building's not there. Nope. That that wasn't there. But Dude, when, I, I go every year for stand-up, yeah. and, I, and I don't recognize it. But the frat row got shut down when I was in school. On the university side or the Apache side? The university. They're all gone. They're gone. They're all gone. Because by Saguaro on the other side, there yeah. used to be a little patch there, too. All gone. Oh, damn. Dude, they're, I'm telling you, they're all That's gone. That's crazy. It got leveled in my in my junior year because there's a porno called Shane's World. Shane's World shot a porn at Arizona State. You can look it up. One of them was oh, wearing a it, thing. It's on X videos? I don't even know if it's up anymore. Okay, you can't okay, really find okay, it. Okay. But I, I, I want to check that out. You sound out. like you want to yeah, find yeah. it. Yeah. And it was porn stars, uh, porn stars fucking frat guys, like real frat guys. Real. The frat guys. The, 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 Is it like Nebraska co-heads? co-heads? I don't know what it's like. Okay, I think okay, it's like any I other like, porn I'm that a, you've I'm ever a, seen. I'm a fan of that. I just love that you love it. Yeah, I love Come it. Come here. I'm going to show you. Yeah, Watch. Okay, this is crazy. Yeah, this is it. No, it, well, this, this is, is just, if people want to look, this is something fascinating well, to see. Well, this is for me and you, because so, I've been there. I know. Uh, um, so look at this. Get okay. ready. I'm going to I'm gonna blow your mind a little bit okay, here. Go ahead. Um, so there's Sun Devil Stadium, mm-hmm. right? You know where we are right now. That's where the football games. And then we go over to this side, right there. Look. That's Peta Jungle. I remember Peta Jungle. Peta Jungle. Here, here's where all the frats. Here's where. where here's where. Manzanita? That's where all the frats used to be. What happened? Look at that. They all got ripped down, dude. Well, where are they? They, they, they there's, so there's no frats. That, there's no houses on campus. I think they're allowed to have the organization, but they can't have the houses anymore. Because that's where the fun is for them. Then. Right. So that that's at Rural and University yeah, Drive. Yeah, that's yeah. where all the houses were. Right. That's where the improv was at Rural and University in that corner. Right. Yeah. And then so this practice field now look is it's an indoor field for the football team, but this whole thing used to be an open field, and yeah. I would get baked out of my head and go play ultimate frisbee there. That's right. That's, that's where right. I made my first friend. Right. right. A guy Playing from ultimate. the dorm. Oh wow. A guy from the dorm. I was I was I didn't know anybody, and yeah. the guy from the dorm's like, uh, "Hey, dude, you look like you play sports." And I said, "Yeah, I, I, I like I play basketball." He said, "Have you ever played ultimate frisbee?" I yeah. said, "Not not really. I mean, in high school we used to get high and go yeah, play, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it was most about getting high, mm-hmm. and we didn't read. Nobody ever really played that much. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, I played a bunch in high school because I was like, I just wanted something to do, and we go out there and I got hooked. I then I would play every week with these guys. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was so fun, do man. You have like vivid memories from a, a, that you. I mean, you, I'm sure I've, you have. Some I have. Great I have memories. some vivid memories, but yeah. a lot of it's blurred. Yeah. Do you remember uh, when Mill turned to Van Buren? Yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause, you know, me and Bob, Bob and I used to hit those uh, mm-hmm. strip clubs there. Mm-hmm. And me and my friends also. They're more than just strip clubs. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, They're prostitution uh, uh, I, uh, hostels. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're hooker hostels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a place called Something Moon. Was it Blue Moon? Oh, it was a raunchy one, man. Yeah. It was a raunchy. He loved that one, though. Yeah. There were some good <laughs> ones. <laughs> some good ones. Not there. an yeah. inch. I'm not surprised even a little yeah. bit. I had some. We had some. We used to do. A buddy of mine used to work at um, uh, Ra Sushi, and we go to Rula Bula, the Irish bar on Mill. Do you know Rula Bula? It's still there. It's been there forever. Was it, it was near the Hooters, or uh... it was the most north end of Mill, right, right where the actual Mill is, the Mill on Mill. Is it is it Mill and University, or like going no Mill by Vendor? the water? Okay, so that's I'm, mill, glad, like, I'm glad you brought that, that up. part of Mill when. I was leaving. They had just made that fake the the, the Tempe Town Lake. Yes, yeah. Because I used to walk down there. I would be depressed, 
almost suicidal and i would just take long walks down there I remember. into the into no the... no i would just sit and it, you're looking at a fake lake basically yeah. but i would just sit there and just like stare at the water so i used to climb up yeah. a mountain right next to it okay, and yeah. i would sit there if i got sad <laughs> i went up when i got sad you yeah. went down when you got I sad i went down yeah yeah <laughs> i had some dark times there yeah we all had a, a couple of dark yeah. moments so um did you have a did you meet girlfriends did you, you were dating i her? i had I, I had girlfriends i had girlfriends i had girls that were friends mm mm-hmm. mhm Everybody fucks, dude. Yeah. We'd, yeah that's I lost cool. my virginity there. Man. I know. That's incredible. When I you love, were how old? 19? Well, it was my... It took me a while. It took me, like, I think year two there. Yeah. And Because, dude, all my friends lost their virginity in high school. Did you wrap it up or no? Yeah, I did. I did. Smart. And she was a little heavier. Yeah. yeah you could yeah. show show the yeah. viewers. She, what, yeah, she was a little heavier she Hawaiian was big. girl. Yeah. You know, I, I already told the story. Yeah, heavy her. Hawaiian girl. I met her. Oh, do you remember? Uh, there was uh, apartments called The Commons. Oh, yeah, I know the, the commons. commons on Lemon. Yeah, the Commons, yeah. Is that where she lived? No, no, no. There was parties there. Uh, yeah. So I was there. I had my skateboard on me, mm-hmm. and I was just, you know, and then I, I met her and then her suite mates. Ooh. And, and then I walked back, you know, um, you know where the student rec center is there? And I yeah. walked all the way across campus yep. to PVE, like PVE. Well, Street. PV Main is there, and then East yeah, and yeah, West yeah, over yeah, the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. that's where you had sex yeah, with that yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. What was her name? I don't know. I really Let's don't. take a guess. But she played like luau Hawaiian music. She was legit Hawaiian. Yeah, legit Hawaiian. Like, pineapple. Her name yeah, was Pineapple. Yeah, like dim lights, Hawaiian music. She offered me a um, uh, soul, you know that? A Mai Tai? No, a soul beer. S-O-L. Oh, S-O-L, soul. S-O-L, soul. Yeah. And, Isn't um, soul? That's a Mexican beer. Yeah, it's a Mexican beer. So this yeah, doesn't yeah. line up at all with the Hawaiian scene. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if she had a wine beer, but uh, her, uh, her sweet mates tried to cock block it. Like, Why? No, they're like, we're going to go dancing. Yeah, no. And I'm like, and then we're I'm gonna thinking, go fucking. No, and then, and then they went back into their room, you know, because they shared a bathroom. Mm-hmm. And then I pretended I was passed out. Smart. Yeah, and then she, her roommate had moved out. The Hawaiian's roommate moved out. So you know, bunk beds. Yeah, there? I had them. So you, yeah, I had bunk beds. So they separated us. She was on the top. I was at the bottom. And I go. And then when it was dark, and I it was like a couple, like two minutes went by. I went, hey, psst, <laughs> come down to the <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. she did. Yeah, you heard, but it was loud. She had to be quiet. Uh, it was really fast. It was so fast. Well, because I, I hadn't had sex. I don't know. I didn't know the feeling. So it happened like when I was. But you took the time to put on a condom. Yeah, I had a, I had a condom, or she had a condom. But I remember it was like not even fully hard. It was like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> your reaction. You was had a so soft bad. penis. As it was your semi. First... It was semi. It was semi. That's how big your penis is. No, it's big. <laughs> But when you say this is semi, that's bad. It was semi. Full semi. Full semi. I You probably have a regular penis. Yeah, it's regular. I'm a grower. Your brother is no, not no, regular. Let me, see. let me see. How big is Bob's? Genuinely? I think my brother... Two, two or three inches? Maybe... No, it's... Bob is probably... I think I'm at least there. I, I could, if I'm fully from the base, I can make it to there, to the five. So about the, I can make it to the five. I'm at least a little, I'm like a millimeter past the five, but that's from my base, I think, I believe. Right. So you'd say that's your penis yeah, is there. Yeah, like right, right, li- just one, that tiny line past the five. I so think. your brother's about there. <laughs> that's real. That's your brother's right about there. Uh, and by the way, genuinely, your brother, yeah. not erect, is is right, right about there. <laughs> I think it's an inch of growth. I dead se- I'm dead serious. Mine, mine. Uh, be honest. You don't have to be. Mine, don't mine. Be humble about mine limp. It. It, mine limp is about an inch. <laughs> Show the and then hard. It's got. It's about so that's less than an six inch. and a half. So you go from less than an inch. Maybe down. Maybe below. <laughs> no, I think limp. It's about a three and some change. Right around here. Okay, then. And then you go. A and three then I go to, to six about and a half, six. Seven. No, just about six. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's a little. It's got to be a little bit further. It's around. a little bit longer. But I'm trying to be cold. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be modest. You're being modest. No, I, I have a very regular penis. Yeah, yeah. I have a regular I mean, penis. It doesn't matter as far as the length or like. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I think the girls like. I, I think the girls like the guy as much as they like the penis. Yeah. I, I, a porn star told me on my podcast. She said there's a group of porn stars that they have a thread, and they talk about guys that they've slept with with regular penises. And they brag about it. Like guys who have regular penises are their favorite penises. Why is that? Because it's just a because most guys with regular penises probably. So what is a regular? Like four to five inches. I imagine correct? the average penis. We could Google it. Craig, will yeah, you can Google we Google that? what I'm the just, average? Oh, yeah. What's the average male penis erect? Yeah, I think it's five or six. I would say it's probably five. Five or six. Five sounds normal. 
five, five and a half. Five and a half, six. Because you got to think of the whole... The, you're talking about all the penises. All the penises. Because some are micro. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the... So, yeah, I and know. then some are 11. Dude. What is it? So five inches, I'm right. Oh, you're right. Five point one six, right? Yeah. So five inches, just over five inches. Yeah. Right. Girth is three point six six. Girth is three point six six. Well, width, you're never going right? to be able to bend that around unless okay, you have. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Sorry. you can't yeah, do yeah. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so you mentioned micro. Yeah. If you had a micro, I mean, would you make it work? Would you, <sighs> you would kill yourself. No, I would never kill myself because yeah. of my. No, but I might. I might. If you had a mi- I micro. If I had a micro penis, I might. That's like a button, right? Yeah, it's a little button. It's like a little. Button. I might transition. I might just yeah. get a vagina, and yeah. I'm not. And I'm not mocking trans people. I'm saying yeah. I might just do it just because it's like, it might, it might, it's just just for the fun. Can you, you know? get a Can you get an erection with the mic with the micro penis? Yeah, that's yeah. Oh yeah. But how you? There's no. It just pops out a little bit. So it's like wo- a nipple. So a woman's vagina would have to encompass. It would the have button. to engulf. It would engulf the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. It would have to swallow <laughs> your genitals. It would have to <laughs> suck you in the middle yeah. of them. But I, if I had a micro yeah, penis, I, don't know how, I probably I I would might. just be, I'd probably be a genius because I'd spend so much time doing other stuff. Other the, stuff than trying to get laid. Yeah, because your whole life is a guy you try to fuck. Yeah. So if you, I bet you micro penis men are the smartest men on earth. Yeah. How would you masturbate with the micro penis? You know, Spit on it. <laughs> Until that, it gets you off. Because I remember, as a, do you remember the first time you masturbated? Oh my God, yeah. Because I remember um, oh, I it do. was my third grade teacher, Mrs. Self, and she was uh she bent over to grade, uh, like, look, whatever, look at the yeah. book reporter. And then I remember seeing her cleavage. Oh. And I went home and I ran to the bathroom. Third grade. Third grade. Third grade's real young. Third grade. And I remember I went in and I was, I used, I remember I used these fingers and I went like that. To your little penis. To my little penis. <laughs> Third grade is how old? I don't know, but I remember. What I is remember, that, like seven? Yeah, because 12 is like sixth grade. Yeah, that's, yeah, you're young. But I, I remember I, I I didn't jerk off till I was like thirteen. Thirteen is that twelve or thirteen? Twelve is I think when I jerked off maybe the first time. Did you use these fingers? I I use that I use my hand. So you could you could you you could put wrap your whole hand around. And it? I got a coke can and cock. <laughs> no, no I use I I remember I jerked off like this I jerked off like a with just wait with just these three. Like I this? think it's my whole. It was my whole hand. Okay, I, so you, yeah. By I, the time I was thirteen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You were seven. I was, I was seven years old. I'm sorry. Not not everyone right, was right. seven. Okay, yeah, no, okay, I, I was thirteen. Okay. Yeah, I was thirteen. Doing that. I was thirteen. Yeah. Now, did, yeah. when you ejaculated, did stuff come out? First time it didn't. Yeah, mine. Because I stopped. Mind. I got scared. So you, you stopped. Yeah, I was like, oh, what is that? Like, who taught you how to do that? Did you just do it on Inst- your own? Instinct. Because me and my friend, uh, I remember my friend and I. Or were, porn. Yeah, we're trying to. We saw like out. a porn video, and I was like, "Oh, that's what it does." So you have to pull on it. Yeah. Yeah. What about when you lost your virginity? Uh, Marco Island, Florida. I was 16 years old. Oh, 16. 16. She was 15. Wow. Just a bunch of young lovebirds. Yeah. How was that? Uh, the condom broke. Condom broke. Condom broke. Yeah. And. Uh, and uh, now I have a kid in Marco Island, Florida. Damn. No. What, she, what grade is that? Ninth, tenth grade. 16? Yeah. I was a sophomore. Dude, that's pretty good, man. Yeah. She was a freshman. I was a sophomore. Wow. Fucked uh, her good, yeah, dude. You, you did, huh? Yeah. No, I don't know. It was probably awful. Good job. It was probably awful. Yeah. Could you imagine how bad it was? It was my first time. I was so nervous. Yeah. Ugh. It was but probably you, so did uncomfortable you, uh, did you for you ejaculate? her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. Did you last long? Do you remember? No. No was, way. Yeah, it was quick. Anyone that says they do is a liar. Yeah, it's quick, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, but and then we kept we were dating, mm-hmm. and then we had sex as much as we could. I think when you're young, you're just I'm afraid to have kids to learn that. That's like once they start, that's all you want to do. You're like, wow, this is it's the greatest thing on earth. Yeah, when know, you're 16, it's, it's 17, fantastic. you're just a hornball freak. Fantastic, you're a yeah. freak. Yeah, you're a freak, yeah. and you want to do it all the time. Yeah, I'm sorry to be talking like this in front of the dog. <laughs> Because I know that he doesn't need to hear it's this okay. kind of language. Do you and my brother talk about stuff like this? Yeah, sometimes we do. Yeah. But but you but your brother's sex life is so askew. Like go ahead. Like what do you mean by that? It's uh <laughs> Go ahead. It's I don't know if he's ever had sex. You you gotta be a kid. No. Nope. There's no what? One time Kalila was like, I've never had sex with your with, with your friend Bobby, and I don't think I ever will. And I said, Why not? And she said, I I love him, but I don't like him like that. Whoa. No. Ask her about it when she comes. 
So my no, that's not true, man. <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. All the girlfriends he's had. I don't know, man. Yeah. I think they just talk. Uh, do you get along with Kalila? Love. Yeah. yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah. I get along with uh I get along with all of Bobby's extremities, whether they be someone love interest like Kalila or Gilbert. Oh, so yeah, yeah. He, I like Gilbert. I like Gilbert, but he, you know, Sometimes you get a lot of line. Okay. Yeah, um, are you married? Are you? Are you do, do you have a do married? Have, you're married. married. Married to a woman. Uh, how long have you been married to her? Thr- four years almost. Oh, look at that. Thr- Isn't that so fun that dogs do that? Four years. It'll be four years this year. Watch this. The dog is standing up. It's so wonderful to watch. Very cute dog. That's so cool. <laughs> hey, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Four this years. Out there. Sorry, that was weird. Will you guys be open? Will I be able to do your podcast yeah. maybe six months down the line or something like me that? Me and Bobby? Yeah. Look. Yeah. If we do Give me guests. A chance. If Give we, me a chance. No, Give if, me we a chance. Do, if we do guests, yeah. Please. He doesn't want to do guests. Give me a chance. If I we do guests, yeah. You have to ask him, but he doesn't want to do guests. Come guest. on, please. I want to come he, on. But what about what about Tiger Belly? Well. That's better than our show, because that's well, always you guests. Know, we're, yeah, we don't have to get into it. Yeah, but just do it. I will. I will. I, I, I hadn't done it in a year, huh? So go back. Yeah, okay, I will. I just, just want to make sure I'm cool with every individual. You are cool. No, I mean, like, you if, are they're, cool. if they're cool with me going there. Of course. That's my, you know, that's my brother. But it's your brother. But Jeez, but Louise. but but have you? But have you? Would you ask him? Why wouldn't you ask him? You know, my brother has a certain way. I mean, me being his younger brother, he has a certain way of like, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. You gotta learn. Yeah, he likes you know, doing he that. He likes. You know, I, I don't know I when know. he started doing that. He has this thing where he's like, oh, you got, you're gonna learn the hard way. All right. Yeah, nobody likes. You know, it. it's like a, it's like a whole like he's it's trying, like I it's think like it's, the Godfather or Scarface. <laughs> like he's got like that whole yeah. respect thing. And, yeah, your brother is come like on, Scar. Man. He is. Yeah, like, he's like that, right? Yeah. So he does that. Imagine being his younger brother, like Steve. But he does that. Up. I think he does that because. <sighs> he does, Sorry, because he loves you. I love him too, and trust me, I would love to go back, but I just I want to make sure all the other parties are. Cool. Yeah, they're like they're good with it. If we do guests, if we ever do guests, you know you you'll come on. Would would you be open with me and Griffin at the same time? No. <laughs> Why? Of course. Yeah, we don't yeah. care. If we do guests, Griff would probably be our first. You owe it to him. Man. Yeah, we have. You to. guys owe it to him. I know he got so mad about it. Have and you talked to him like like had a one to one? We talked all the time. No, no, like real talk. Oh. A, Real talk about, about that? Yeah, just no. about hey, listen, man, you know. Oh yeah, this we is did. We did when it first started. It made more sense with me and Bob. Or, we did it know. when it, we, we we had that talk when it first started before we started it. And what was his response? Yeah, man, it's fucked up. You don't know, be mad about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he's doing fine. He, right? Griff is doing great. Are you yeah. kidding me? You guys don't even know. people don't even. Eric Griffin's a multi multi millionaire. No. Yeah, dude, he hides all of his money. Doesn't spend it on anything gotta be kidding he's me. got more money than god he just hides it dude he pretends like oh what was me but he's a dude he's he's man he should have bought dinner that one time you bought him dinner yeah should not have done that bossa nova dude he has tons of money fifty dollars don't do that don't yeah, do $50 that fifty dollars to me that's grocery money that's like i'm gonna text him right now and tell no, him no, no 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 yep. no 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 you can't i'm gonna tell him no 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 Andrew, i'm gonna please. tell him right now oh please don't no 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 what no, if we no, facetime no, no. him can we facetime him no 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 oh yeah 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 go ahead yeah, 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 let's FaceTime. Yeah, let's FaceTime. Well, well, he might be at the store. Okay. He might be at the store right, right. now doing shows. He's going to say something derogatory towards me. Well, he does. He's a bigot and he's a racist. That's part of the reason why our friendship has fallen apart. He's a bigot. He's a racist. He's a homophobe. Okay. He's sexist. You know, he's a dogist. You know, he hates dogs. Yeah, he's got to be. Oh, no, see, he's yeah, got to be at the. Yeah. He's got to be at the club right now. Sorry, I can't talk. No, that's a, see, look, sorry, I can't talk. No, right. He's got. But look, we talk. We talk. All we talk today. What do you say? We chat all the time. He goes, uh, okay, he goes, uh, Go in, I'm in the shower. He's in the shower. Okay. What else did he say? Well, right now he said, uh, okay, let's go. Let's throw back. He goes, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. He said, um, he asked me to do his lab show. Yep. I said, I can't on that date. He said, you're a monster. I said, how was Tacoma? He said, I did great. He's got a strong work ethic. And man. then I said, F yes. Yeah. And he said, 
And then he explains the deal. I don't want to blow up his business. You know, money. Oh, okay. I don't want to talk you money. And exactly. then he and then on Friday he says Happy Valentine's Day. Look at he sent me a little oh, um, emoji. Little, oh, he sent, he sent me you, this. Okay, that's sweet. You see that? He sent me that. Yeah, okay. And then I said, I uh, all, all you two, baby. He said, I'm not kissing your balls though. Don't get any ideas. And because of Bobby oh, kissing okay, my balls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bobby, uh, Bobby kissed my balls. But yeah. um, <laughs> do you still skate? Yeah, I mean but I do haven't you still lately. Skate, skate? Yeah. Well, not like I haven't like fully went to the park and, but I still, yeah. I'll never quit that. Yeah. I'll never, because one thing about Arizona is they have some of the best skate parks there as well. Every, I mean, it's such a skateable terrain, right? Because yeah. it's the desert. So everything mm-hmm. is concrete and every, there's all. The Tempe Park. I wish I was good at skating. I was never that good. I you wasn't good enough. You should just get a board just to cruise on, No, man. not anymore. Nope, no? nope, 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 nope. So what other uh, outside activities besides, con- like, what are some of your other interests? I love, uh, this sound, I love running. That's a terrible, that sounds lame, but I. You go no running, just running. No. I know, but up running. I hike sometimes. Okay, but it's a little too congested. Okay, I just like running in the neighborhood. I ran today for how many miles? Uh, <clears throat> let, let's guess. How many do you think I ran for? I'm guessing you ran two and a half miles, something like that. Two and a half miles. Let's yeah, see. Two, two, two. Yeah. All right, there you go. Where's the miles? Second one down. Eight point six. Eight point six miles, baby. You ran. Eight point six miles. Yeah. How the hell? I just do it. Like I don't know. how? I, when did you? Get I started. Into this? I started. How do you do that? I started running. Whoa! I started running probably <sighs> six or seven years ago, Whoa. and people were like, "Oh, it's so easy. You just get into it." You know what? Honestly, gave me some of the drive. This wild. Yeah, go ahead. One of my friend's brothers died, and he was running a marathon for him. Yeah. And I was like, "How, Dan? How are you doing that?" And he's like. Honestly, you just do a little by little every week. You like chip away, like start with a mile, then be happy with the mile, then start with two miles, then get, try to get to two, mm-hmm. then the next week try three, and if you're comfortable, try four or five the next week, like like up your ante a little bit. Yeah. And so I just kept that mentality, and it literally worked. I don't think I would ever do a marathon because I think 26 miles is disgusting. Yeah, but how do you? But well, like, eight, where do you run to? You just run like Forrest Gump. So like, I, you just yeah, go? I, dude, I gump it. You gump it. I gump it. I don't pick a location. I don't like that. I think picking locations. So you just go. I go. Yeah, I go until my body says I'm gonna go back. And so what do you do? Okay, so you go. I put on my little headphones. So is that four, four back, four there, four? Yeah. Back? Four, what was it? Eight six. So yeah, four and some change. Yeah. And four so you back. four, then you stop, and then what do you do? You go to Seven Eleven, get a Gatorade. And no, then... I just keep running. Okay, so you stop at one point and then you just head back to your house. <coughs> I don't stop. I'll just turn around, uh, like like, or I'll make oh, a big square. Oh damn! Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I just a, make that's a. Re- dude, that's really impressive. Thank you. Man. Well, I I I, don't, I, it, I like it. It's really just to just think. But so uh, you're saying it's meditative as well? Yeah, dude, it is. It clears your mind. I'm really like you know people can sit still in a room. I can't do that. Yeah. So yeah, I have yeah. to run, and then my head is blank. It's beautiful. Then I can kind of like peruse through through stuff it's when i get the most emotionally in depth is when i run because today you know uh, i called my dad okay and uh got bad news from him but it, like i get like emotional signals when i'm running dude it's weird yeah when i run something comes out it's like you need to talk to someone because something is going while on. you're in the activity dude it's weird and i'll call him why out. not swimming or anything I don't that like... Sw- do, okay, that can't Oh, do. cute. We're almost done, Kirby. We're yeah, Kirby's like, what's the deal, dude? I yeah, want my life back. We're almost done. We're going to plug the days. Yeah, no, Um. I uh, I don't know. I can't swim. But outside of like, outside of running, stuff I love to do is I love I love to snowboard. I love going to the mountains so very go. much. I like Arizona, sitting outside. Arizona, that's when I started I love, doing that. Uh, white, love. Was it White River? Or one, of, one of those mountains. Well, the, well, well, you like floating the river? Or no, like, no, no, or no. Hiking? We're skiing. No, no, no. We, we went oh, to a... Like, up north. Like, yeah. Up, yeah. 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 Like, we went there. That's northern Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But did you ever float the river? No, no. I just remember doing snowboarding there because my friend... No, my, I mean in Phoenix. Did you ever... You didn't float no, the river? No, the, no. the Salt Lake? Know what the, no. <laughs> don't know what that is. No. The Salt River no, float? No, no, didn't do it. <gasps> didn't do it. You get an inner tube. No, didn't do it. You get it. an inner tube for your beer and you just float down. No, didn't do any of that. But what else? I like um, I like to, uh, my favorite thing lately has been when I'm traveling for shows, mm-hmm. I, I just like spend maybe a day, if my uh, my old lady comes with me, we'll spend a day just traveling the city and seeing fun, weird shit. That's great. I like to just go do the yeah. city. Some people sit in the hotels. Your brother sits in the hotels. I was just going to like, I, I was going to present do that. a challenge that you could challenge him. He would never. No, 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 no. Just hear me out. Andy. Yeah. So next time you see Bob, just say, hey, let's let's go for a run. Oh. And just how far do you think my brother, can my brother make a mile? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Your brother could make. First of all, he wouldn't. He can make a half a mile. I, I have no. I have confidence. No, a quarter of a mile. That's one lap around a track. He'd be hurting though, huh? Half a lap. <laughs> eighth of a mile, he'd get. One eighth. How do we get him? Because I want him to have longevity it's in his over. career, like you, man. It's over. Well, his, his his lifestyle is healthier now than it ever was. Oh, I know. Right? Yeah. So I think he's fine now. Okay. He's lost some weight. Yeah, he has. So he, I think he looks good again. Yeah. But you're never going to get him to fucking that, run. There's a, the, uh, a mental shift happening. Like he'll, he calls people back. He does. He, he checks up on me now. Hey, how you yeah. doing? I just and he should. That. Yeah. He should because it. that's important. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, I think he he would never run. I don't I don't think that's in his blood. But I just loved it. I loved it because it just worked for yeah, me. Yeah, that's great. It's man. not for everybody. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like it, dude. That's got to extend your life for sure, right? Maybe or the opposite. No. Some people die from... Dude, you could die tonight from a heart attack for no reason. For oh, running. They're just sitting. Jeez. I could die just because, I'm, because life is over. Do you ever think about dying? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think about me it too. every day. Yeah. Yeah, I think like about it. you want it to be over. Sometimes. I told him, I want to get the coronavirus. Yeah, it, lo- it looks fun. It, it yeah. looks fun. It looks fun. I told fun. him. He gave me masks to wear to Hawaii. Yeah. He goes, did you wear them? I go, no. Nope. No, you should have worn them. No, but I... No, you. I, think, I mean, for fashion wise, no, it, lo- it I does just, look. I, cool. I would rather get it. I want to get it. You want to get the virus? Yeah, and then just, just kind of like. I don't want to be dead like that. I don't okay, really well, want to die. What's the best way to die? We'll end it at the. Oh yeah, we'll the start. best way to die yeah. to me is. Um, Think about it. The coolest way to die. Right, what's the coolest? Um, a, a shark fight. Oh. Swimming in the ocean, a shark oh, comes on, no. you're fighting a shark. No. Beating his ass. Oh, no way. When his buddies come up and they're like, what's going on? No. And you're like, you're next. That's the worst way. When you're punching all the sharks. Yeah, yeah drowning would be the worst. What's the easiest way? In sleep. Your sleep. But I don't want to die in my sleep. Why not? Because I want to know I died. No, because you you don't. That's the thing. I want to know I'm dead. No, no, you don't. You want to like no, be asleep and then you just transfer over to this other dream. No, I want to know. I'm, because what if it never ends? But you won't know. Uh, yeah, you will know. No, how how are you convinced of that? We don't know, but we do know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to die awake. So you don't want to I want to go. I want this to go. Ah, I'm dying. I want to so know. So you'd rather die of a bullet wound or. Well, no, don't shoot me. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. What are other ways? Heart um, attack. Heart attack. Uh, Cancer. Can- See, that's horrible too. Though. It happens. But better than a gun. What about like. I don't want someone to shoot me. Well, would you want to be numb? Like morphine, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, like you know, like those war yeah. movies where hey, give me the morphine. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to sleep and never wake up, but knowing I was gonna die in my sleep that night. So you want awareness that you're dead. I want to know sleep. I'm dead. I want it to be yeah. like I'm gonna die. I want and that. You want to know that? That's gonna be my last words. I'm gonna die. That's How it. long do you want to live? Uh, ninety six. I want to live to be ninety six. My favorite year for the Chicago Bulls, 96. 96. That's why. Okay. Plug oh, it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Sorry, let's plug. <laughs> all right. No, no, no. I just just grabbing this. Yeah, because I was really, preparing. He's really but yelling yeah, at yeah, you. Yeah. He's, he right, is brutal Craig, and cruel getting, and on it. We're going to... All right. Let's, he's got these shiny let, shoes on yeah. and he doesn't care about anything. <laughs> let's plug... Um. Let's plug it all. Instagram, website. Okay. Instagram. Show dates. Okay, everything. so everything. if you want to see anything, mm-hmm. just go to andrewsantino.com. That has like... My podcast, touring, mm-hmm. all, all that stuff. Cheeto Santino on Twitter and Instagram. Spell that out for the... Cheeto. C-H-E-E-T-O Santino. S-A-S-A-N-T-I-N-O. Mm-hmm. Hi. Uh, and, and just go to andrewsantino.com and then watch uh, the new Bad Friends podcast with me and, and, and Bob Lee. Mm-hmm. And watch my podcast, Whiskey Ginger, and listen to it or watch mm-hmm. it, whichever one is more befitting. Mm-hmm. And um, look at my dog. Look at, look at this. That's my oh. dog. Look at that's my pup. Oh, it's like a black you. Yeah. I'm not racist. I have a black dog. Oh, I know you like white is, stuff. Is that a puppy? She's bigger oh. now, dude. She's. We should have them have sex. Oh yeah. We well, should he, really. His nuts are gone. Yeah, and her puss is yeah. all slapped okay. up. But still. Yeah, they'd have. Cheese. Look at that's her with my buddy Vin. Oh. Look at they're like the same size dog. Oh yeah, they look like they're. I know. Well, because yeah, what kind of mix pepper. is this? A uh, Maltese poodle. She's a cocker spaniel oh. terrier Maltese oh, poodle. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, back. Sexy dude. Yeah, there you go. Kirby's you see back. this girl? What are you, are you interested in some of this? Oh yeah. I could get you some of this ass. Yeah. Yeah. So if you could come back for a part two, can you bring your dog? I will. Okay, thank I you. I would love to. Thank you. Are you on any more TV stuff? 
Yeah, what's going on? I have the a TV show. I have a TV show. No comedy specials oh, coming out. Oh, you were just on uh, Curb. Your I just did Curb Enthusiasm. Can we, talk, can we just plug that real quick? Curb. Yeah, you can watch watch Curb on HBO. It's incredible. I'm in uh, just what, a little baby scene. Well, on, what season? What episode? Episode five. This is season ten right now. Mm-hmm. And then I have a TV show that comes out March fourth on FXX called Dave. It's me and Little Dicky. Oh, oh, I'm a yeah. fan of Little Dicky. Yeah, he's cool. Oh my god, I'm a fan. He's cool. Did you have fun? This was easy, right? This was awesome. What's really my brother like... gonna say, dude? Thank you so yeah, much yeah, for doing yeah, my that brother's was nice. podcast. That was nice. That's yeah. what I'm yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. But I, but I liked it. I had a okay, good time. Did you have a good time? You. Yeah, I did. Okay, so um, we have a Patreon Silence. attached to the show. If you want to help support the Let show, me read and, the Patreon. Uh, it's Patreon.com/slash Stevie I'll read Weeby. It. Uh, support the show, okay? Because this is how uh, Stevie needs to. This is how we make a living. This is how we make money doing this fun content for you. Thank Go to Patreon.com. Slash Stevie Weeby, and that is spelled S T E E B E E W E E B E E. If you don't know how to spell it, we're, we're going to show you how to do it mm-hmm. on their it's Instagram. Mm-hmm. Go to Quan's Quan. It's it's Q U A N G O U O U. Thank you. Quangu. Thank you. Stevie Weeby dot Bandcamp dot Thank you. Uh, Ode to My Pops. Do I, I, I yeah, know. that yeah, you could say that. Ode to My Pops EP. Yes, yeah, my new project that's coming out. Soon. Ode to My Pops EP. Me and Craig working on the music video. on my on mm-hmm. my bo- on my on my board comp. A band camp. I'm a band camp. Mm, that's an you. R. That doesn't look okay. Like an sorry, N. sorry. Future each will, uh, streaming sites, more okay. content, uh, vlogs, puzzles, clips, cooking vlogs. Stevie PO Box. Go ahead. Say is fourteen twenty five North Cherokee. P.O. Box 1391, LACA 90093. Send your puzzles and packages. Send everything. Thank you. And also, go North Korea. Why does it say that on there? Why does it say go North Korea? What does that mean? What? Go North Korea? What does that mean? No, it's Necro. That's Losco Project. It says go North Korea right there. It says yay, go North Korea. No, <laughs> it being funny. It took so long. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank uh, you. Lil Ray will be back uh, soon. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, dude. Okay. And Thank make you, sure you go to uh, go watch and listen to Bad Friends. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bad friends.